Well, hello, it's Ben Moore from West Highlands United Methodist Church greeting you on Easter Sunday morning. Who could have imagined uh, that we'd be celebrating Easter together in this way on this day? Uh, but as we gather for worship, we've added a couple of wrinkles uh, this Sunday for you. It's a special Sunday. We've added some music. Mark Williams has been able to splice in some, some tunes, and, and you're welcome to sing along. Uh, and uh, some have said, uh, gosh, we miss, we miss just the reading of Scripture. So, Mark Williams. Thank you, Pastor Ben, and happy Easter, everyone. It is good to worship with you on this glorious Easter morning. Let's begin with one we know. Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. Earth and heaven in chorus say, Alleluia. Raise your joys and triumphs high. Alleluia. Sing ye heavens and earth reply. has led Alleluia following our exalted head Alleluia made like him like him we rise Alleluia ours the cross the grave the skies Let us pray together. Almighty God, you give us the joy of celebrating our Lord's resurrection. Give us also the joys of life in your service and bring us at last to the full joy of life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord. my Savior, waiting the coming day, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he rose, with a mighty triumph on his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his saints to reign. He arose, he arose, alleluia, Christ arose. Vainly they watch his bed, Jesus my Savior, vainly they seal the dead, Jesus my Lord. Up from the grave he rose, with a mighty triumph for his foes. He arose a victor from the dark domain, and he lives forever with his 
saints to reign. He arose, he arose, alleluia, Christ arose. Death cannot keep its prey, Jesus my Savior. grave he arose with a mighty triumph for his foes he arose a victor from the dark domain and he lives forever with his saints to reign he arose he arose alleluia christ Back to you, Pastor Ben. So let me share the scriptures for this Sunday with you uh, before I share my reflections. First, from Acts chapter 10, beginning with verse 44. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell on everyone who had heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astonished that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. They heard them speaking in other languages and praising God. Peter asked, These people have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. Surely no one can stop them from being baptized with water, can they? He directed that they be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited Peter to stay for several days. Paul writes to the Colossians these words from the beginning of the third chapter. Therefore, if you were raised with Christ, look for the things that are above where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. Think about the things above and not the things on earth. You died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Gospel reading, gospel reading for today comes from the 28th chapter of Matthew's Gospel. And he talks about this day that we have gathered to celebrate this way. After the Sabbath, as dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to look at the tomb. Look, there was a great earthquake, for an angel from the Lord came down from heaven. Coming to the, st coming to the stone, he rolled it away and sat on it. Now his face was like lightning, and his clothes as white as snow. The guards were so terrified of him that they shook with fear and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Don't be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here, because he's been raised from the dead, just as he said. Come, see the place where they laid him. Now hurry. Go and tell his disciples he's been raised from the dead. He's going on ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. I've given the message to you. With great fear and excitement, they hurried away from the tomb and ran to tell his disciples. But Jesus met them and greeted them. They came and grabbed his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that I am going into Galilee. They will meet me there. When we left, last left the story of this last week of Jesus' life, he and his uh, inner circle were stepping into Jerusalem, along with persons who had gathered from all over the world to celebrate the Passover together. 
Matthew, as he tells that story, says that upon their entry, the whole city was shaken. The whole city was shaken. And the word that's used for shaken is the same word for earthquake. If you've been following the story through this Holy Week time, you know that that Matthew talks about another earthquake on Friday. As Jesus is breathing his last, amid the darkness that has filled that afternoon, the earth begins to shake. And the cloth in the temple is rent, opening the Holy of Holies to any who would gather for worship. Easter Sunday morning, the earth moves again. Some women, the two Marys and others, have come to give their Lord, uh, this rabbi who has meant so much to them, a decent burial. And as they arrive at the tomb, the ground beneath their feet begins to shake. An angel descends in a burst of light. The stone is rolled away. The soldiers who've been guarding the tomb all night are so frightened that they faint. The angel says to the women, don't be afraid. I know you've come to see Jesus who was crucified. He's not here. He's not here. He's risen. Go and tell his followers that he will meet them in Galilee. Well, the earth under their feet had shaken, and they were shaking inside as they hurried off to share this impossible news with that inner circle who were huddling in the upper room. Jesus meets them on the way and reaffirms the message that the angel has shared. Tell them, I am alive, and that I will meet them in Galilee. Back to where it all started together again back where it all started. And maybe this Easter Sunday is a time for you to spend just a few moments pondering how it started for you, this journey of faith that has brought you so far and has meant so much. Where did it begin? With a word, with an experience, with a, with a song, with a witness? Express again how thankful you are for God's touch on your heart and your life. It's a moment that that nothing can take from you. Uh, It's a moment that will continue to give you encouragement and light and life. It was a a time uh, for most of us that, that it was as if the world shook and a whole new glance at God, a whole new opportunity opened before us. Well, we've been through some sort of earth-shattering experiences in the last few weeks, haven't we? Uh, COVID-19 has turned our world on its ear and kept us from one another in ways that we value and, and find important. But I sense that something else is stirring as I hear stories of people uh, reaching out in many different ways. As we began to explore technology that Uh, that is new and strange and difficult, we're finding our way along a a new path. But the faith that has been so precious, the faith that we have held dear, the faith that has held us together is still very real. And so as we celebrate this Easter, we celebrate the reality of God in our midst, uh, the reality of a a world uh, changed, perhaps forever, Uh, by events that are out of our control, but also opening new possibilities. Peter, Peter, uh, Peter's world is shaken too. Uh, Peter's world is shaken too there in Acts chapter 10, beginning with a vision that he has on a rooftop in Joppa where he's been ministering. Some visitors that come inviting him to Cornelius' house Cornelius, a centurion, a man of of stature, 
God-fearer uh, asks Peter to come and just share a word of, of what, what is going on? What is this special, wonderful move that, that he sees and hears among the people? And as P Peter shares from his heart how Jesus, the one who was crucified, was not bound by death, and how that has opened a whole new life and a whole new ministry and a whole new way for him, Peter watches the world shake again for Cornelius, for his household. He watches the Spirit descend. He hears the voices. He, he, he is taken back to Pentecost when, when it happened to him, when it happened to the inner circle, when they felt the power and the wonder of God in their midst, the world shook for them the world is shaking for Cornelius he said let's be let's baptize them let's welcome them to this new faith to this new way on this new day surely the world has changed for them and we should celebrate just as we celebrate how the world has changed for us Paul as he's writing to the Colossians takes them back to that special day when God opened a new way for them to be faithful, to be filled with his spirit. And he calls them back to that memory as they travel through some challenges together. He says, don't forget what happened. Uh, this is a new day. This is a new way. And as you face challenges, no. Uh, that you can draw on the strength of that moment when, when the world shook for you and your heart opened to uh, a, a sense of God's presence that, um, that had not been with you before. Well, as I pondered all these things and all this opportunity, my thoughts went back to the words of a, a song that I first encountered a long time ago. It, it's a song about this day. It, it's a song about this new way. Uh, Donald Avery and, and Donald Marsh and Richard Avery wrote these words back in 1972 when this faith was so new and so real for me. Every morning is Easter morning from now on. Every day is resurrection day. The past is over and gone. Goodbye guilt, goodbye fear, good riddance. Hello Lord, hello son. I am one of the Easter people. My new life has begun. Every morning is Easter morning from now on. This event that, that shook the world under the feet of the women who were there to give a decent burial to this cherished one in their lives discovered the possibilities opening before them. You and I are those who have encountered these opportunities, these possibilities in our lives. Let this be a day when we celebrate. Not only how the world shook and a new way opened, but Easter every day. A life that we maybe could not have imagined could be ours. Oh, it doesn't mean there won't be obstacles. It doesn't mean there, there won't be difficulties. But, but it's a new day. It's, it's a new way. Uh, I think of some words uh, from Tony Campala that I first heard from him uh, at a gathering of youth pastors in Colorado uh, in the early 80s, maybe 10 years after Avery and Marsh published their words. And as he was sharing the, the wonder and the joy of his faith, he shared a story about, uh, about this, this new day and this exciting way. Tony talked about an opportunity that he had to preach in a church where he was associate pastor. It was a black Baptist church, something very different than the kind of church that you and I uh, have been so accustomed to. Tony says, you know, if you've been a preacher, you know that there are some days that, um, that you'd like to forget. 
but there are others uh, that you are really on. This was a day when I was on. I was awesome. Well, the custom of that black Baptist church, at least, is that when there was a guest preacher, that didn't mean the preacher got a day off. That meant that when the guest preacher was finished, it was the senior pastor's turn to stand and share a message of his own. And he said, his words blew me away. They started so simply, it's Friday. And the world is dark and the ground has shaken and, and we're wondering if our world can ever be the same again. But you know what? Sunday's coming. The message for us as we gather in front of our screens with uh, friends or family distant from us is that Sunday has come. We are Easter people. And the life that Jesus offers is ours. Every morning is Easter morning from now on. Every day is Resurrection Day. The past, the past is over and gone. Goodbye fear, goodbye guilt, good riddance. Hello, Lord, hello, Son. I am one of the Easter people. My new life has begun. Your Easter people. Walk through this day embracing who you are and step toward tomorrow with faith and hope and in love that you too have experienced this earth-shaking wonder of God in your heart. Thank you. God from whom 
happy Easter, everyone. God bless you.